So this is the new Autel Evo Max 4T drone. And did you know that you can now plan missions for this drone in EGCS on your computer? Let me show you how. So let's start off here inside of EGCS. First, we need to create a new route for the Autel drone. To do this, we can click here on create a new route. Then we click on next. And then in the drone profiles, we choose the Autel Evo Max 4T or 4N if you're using that drone. Click here on done, and now we can plan our mission. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I will just be planning a very simple photogrammetry mission. So for that, just select the photogrammetry tool. Uh, here under camera, make sure you have the Autel Evo Max wide camera selected, and the uh, GSD I'll have set as uh, one centimeter. Then just mark out uh, some area over which you want uh, to fly. And once the area is marked, hit enter. Then you can adjust the direction angle slightly and then wait for the mission to be calculated. Uh, if you want, you can add a waypoint before or a waypoint after, that's uh, up to you. But just to keep things simple, I will leave it as it is. Uh, if we go here into actions, uh, you'll see that we have this set camera attitude action automatically added in here, which will move the drone's camera 90 degrees down and uh, below that we have the set camera by distance action which will trigger the camera to take images. So now once uh, this is done we can uh, go ahead and export this mission from EGCS and this will save this onto the computer. So to do that click here on these three dots then select export and in these options, select the DJI Pilot 2. So the Autel uh, Enterprise app uh, will take the same format route and you will be able to import it. So let's now select this, then click on next, and then just choose where you want to save this. So our route, let's just call it uh, Autel route, and let's hit save. So once this is done, you can see uh, here in our desktop folder, we now have uh, this route. Now, the next step is connecting your uh, auto controller to the computer. In this case, I'm using a Mac, so I'll be connecting to my MacBook, but uh, if you're connecting to a Windows process is very similar, if not even more simple. So then just take a USB-C cable, you can see here for the Autel remote, there's the USB-C port and just plug the cable inside of this port. Now, once that is done, make sure you go here into settings on the Autel controller and under connected devices, find the USB connection and make sure that file transfer is enabled. That's a really important step. So once that is done, you can see that on my Mac here, I have the Android file transfer app. Uh, on Windows, you'll just be using the Windows File uh, Explorer. And then down here, I have a separate folder where I have my Autel routes. Uh, you can create a new folder or use one of the existing ones and then just take the route which you just now planned for this drone inside of UGCS and just drag and drop it into this folder. So now we can see that this Autel route.kmz file is inside of this folder. And so that's essentially it uh, as far as everything that you will do on the computer. And so all of the next steps will now happen on the Autel remote controller. Now we can even disconnect the uh, USB cable. Let's go back to the main screen. And now let's open up the Autel Enterprise app. So now in the Autel Enterprise app, press here on more. And then here under missions, press on import. Then uh, in here, just find the folder in which, which you have the root saved. And then this is our Autel root.kmz. So now just press on that. Now it's importing. And so now you can see this root already here inside of the Autel uh, Enterprise app. And uh, what's interesting is also that all of the actions which you saw, these are imported in here as well. So you can see here the number of photos that the drone will be taking during this route. If you select any of the uh, waypoints on this route, you will be able to see all of the properties of this uh, waypoint. So for example, you can see that also the gimbal pitch angle 
it's set here to 90 degrees, so the same angle which we set inside the PGCS. So all the actions that you do there, these are also saved and transferred into the Autel Enterprise app. And so here you can see these two missions side by side. So the mission which you see here in the Autel uh, Enterprise app was planned inside of EGCS. While this is a very simple photogrammetry mission, the same of course applies to even larger missions. The larger the mission, the better it is to be able to plan this on a desktop on the large screen rather than planning it on the Android app. Plus GCS gives you way more customizability for your routes. So I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, make sure to leave comments uh, below in case you have any questions or uh, want to find out more about GCS. And yeah, so as always, safe flights and see you in the next video.